Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Before I start the video, I do want to say please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, if you want to join the Patreon, the spots are getting, uh, what? <clears throat> sorry, booked up real quick uh, because I only have to. Uh, I actually had to make another tier because uh, the, the I actually capped all of the tiers and stuff. Um, so you can join at uh, www.patreon.com forward slash. But I am not a trader. If you want to join, cool. If not, that's fine too. Um, as of right now, we are looking at a break on this support here on on Bitcoin, right? This support at 66.3. Um, I am looking for per, uh, further push down, right? Just because we did close under this actual support. Um, I want to see what happens here. So I want to see what happens here, though, because if we actually regain this resistance up here, that's going to be some pretty fucking bullish movement, right? So. Uh, personally, I want Bitcoin to crash just because I want to be able to pick some up at a low price, right? I I'm not even touching Bitcoin here, right? Like I would never touch Bitcoin at this price. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm personally pretty bearish considering the fact that you're you're right under this uh, support, right? You broke it, broke the lows, and as of right now, you are starting to uh, come down, right? But again, I want to see more. I want to see a heavier rejection on this area, right? I need this to come down a little bit more. Um, so again, you did break, right? You did a hit that, I think the lowest here was 65. But again, you are triggering that monthly, right? Remember what I told you guys? The last time we got that monthly was right here, right? Like the perfect entry was right here, right here. And then you came down, up, came down right again. You did have a perfect entry right here, right? And then you had an immediate push to the upside. And I think this was around the same time that the whole stock market started pushing towards the upside as well, right? But again, on the weekly, right? On the weekly, we are bearish, right? So that's gonna be closing in about a day. And for confirmation, you do have the dollar already closed, um, you know, bullish, and you closed above channel. So nine times out of 10, I am looking for the dollar to go back up to one, 107, 226, right? And, and chances are, there's a really good chance that this is the, this is the start of the dollar actually going back to these highs of 107 and breaking um, relative highs and going all the way back up to like 114, right? I'm not saying we will, but there's a really good chance that we really start pushing higher on the dollar, right? Two week, yeah, two week. There you go. Two week, I think. Two week close June 17th. Yeah. So the two week already closed bullish as well. Yeah, the dollar looks like it's about a fucking rip. And that's very, very much bad news for the, the entirety of the crypto market, to be honest. Um, we can even look at the total market cap. Where are we in the total market cap? Total market cap, yeah, two week. Uh, you're about to close another fresh bear trigger on the two week. So I would definitely consider this um, as a possible drop to, to two trillion uh, valuation over the, over, over the overall crypto market, right? The monthly is closing a perfect entry, right? This is oh, actually, you know what? This was actually not a perfect entry on the total on the totality of the crypto market. That actually makes a lot of sense, right? It didn't break highs of the total market cap at three trillion. Oh man, this would actually be so. Let's do this because running. Running this on the actual totality of the crypto market makes a lot of sense. So let's run this, right? If we do this, run it down here. Ooh, that is not good for people who are holding crypto, man. So where would we actually drop to? So, right, so I can really only see two things happening, right? You either drop here and then you push up and break to the upside, right? Or... You break this mid channel when you go all the way down, and you actually break uh, lows of that we had back in February of 2023. So this is back when Bitcoin was around like 15k, right? So again, I think for sure you're probably gonna head on Bitcoin back to like a. Let me see, Bitcoin here is at yeah, like around 42k, right? If you close this monthly bear trigger, I think for sure you're gonna head back somewhere between like 50k to like 42. For sure, right? That's like that's very first target, right? Second target on Bitcoin would actually be a lot lower at Yeah, I'd say definitely looking along the lines of like um, I'd say probably like ten thousand, right? That's gonna be second target. So first target would definitely be like I said, right, do I have a different thing here? 
do, 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 do. 22k would actually be a trend yeah we do if we break lower all oh, that that would be really bad actually yeah but as far as like the total crypto market that's kind of nuts like i i would not be surprised to actually see us back at mid-trend again this is probably somewhere around like a 42k bitcoin right for the totality of the crypto market cap and i think we do drop here and then bounce up or we actually drop but again first target would be right here which is like a 1.5 trillion market valuation right which is kind of like a 50 percent drop from where we are now um as of right now i'm getting extreme i'm not 100 percent bearish but i'm getting extremely extremely bearish as we get closer to july because if this perfect entry on the month closes right for the bear side i do think we're going to drop back down to a minimum i'm guessing like 50k right but i am looking for a i am looking for a one point like five trillion uh dollar market cap valuation on everything right the whole the whole market right on this total on the total market cap of the crypto market so this does look like it's gonna close there's like a 90 percent chance right now right unless bitcoin actually pushes a little bit higher um a little bit higher uh to like maybe above like 70k then i think it gives up this monthly trigger but yeah, bro, like this is not looking good for Bitcoin, right? And and, and again, that's going to be the leader. I don't know why people are talking about how we can even look at things like, let's look at Doggy or Solana. We can uh, so look at Solana. How would it even call Solana? Like, an, See, look at that. See, Solana closing its very first bear month trigger, like official bear month trigger. Let me see if there's anything. Have we been trading a little bit more longer? Yeah, there we go. See, last time Solana closed the bear trigger, right? Dropped from 170 to 10 bucks this time it's dropping from 170 again i would not be surprised to see this should drop again to that same price right so we do we run the channel on solana do, 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 right essentially what's going on is yeah that's perfect look two things that can happen right solana drops down to like a 80 bucks whoops Right, Solana drops to 80 bucks and then recovers from here to the upside like this and either drops again or you break out of this and you push to like maybe like a back to like high somewhere like right here right so let's clone this to the upside and again if you want to learn how to run the channels and the other you know ways that i know how to trade just you can join the patreon right so there you go so my guess is there's a couple things that you can do right it really just depends on because we're, we're running at we're running at a very high level here so this is what i think can happen as of right now right so <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that so i think if this bear trigger closes right there's like a 95 percent chance we're dropping to this mid channel to like 78 eight dollars on um on solana within maybe like the next i don't know couple of months and then you either break lower, which is gonna take you all the way down to a new low, right? I can almost guarantee you're gonna go back to like 10 bucks. You're not, I mean, you're not gonna hit negative 50, right? But you're gonna come back down to like a fit, like 20 bucks, bro, on Solana. I can almost guarantee you. If you break this, if you break this here, this this mid channel is gonna be, it's gonna be gross. That that drop is gonna be pretty nasty. So, again. You could drop all the way down. Not could. You are dropping to 80 bucks. That's That would be my first target before you actually push to the upside or you drop lower back to like 20 bucks. But again, these are all your scenarios. And I think that after this bear month closes on Solana, I think hitting $80 again or 77, somewhere around this range, right? 77, 75, 80 bucks. That's like a 90 for, there's like a 95 percent chance you're gonna um you're gonna drop there right and from these highs you're looking at a drop of 60 percent right so that's a pretty nice drop but again when you hit this level you're either popping back up to this top to the top of channel at 170 right and then rejecting again and dropping lower because if you do reject this again you're gonna go back you're gonna drop down to like 20 bucks right or you push back here and then you keep pushing to the upside and if you break this top of channel you're going to like 270 which is back to the all-time highs, right? Can almost guarantee you guys that. So really, I'm not looking at crypto <clears throat> short-term, right? This is more long-term. If we do come back here at like 80 bucks, I will start to load up on Solana and all the other crypto, right? I'm not in any crypto right now. There's no reason for me to be not at these highs. So if you do, if you do come back to like at least mid-channel, 
I do think we'll have a bounce, right? So you either have a bounce and maybe come back up to like 127 and drop or, you know, something's going to happen here, right? There's going to be some kind of support here at mid-channel, right? Definitely for all crypto. So yeah, very, very simple. Crypto right now is at like an edge, bro. Like it's at an edge and it's holding on to like a single rock. And this person that's holding on the crypto is like... 300 pounds, bro. That's basically what it is. So either a helicopter comes out of nowhere to like save this shit or, you know, I really do think Bitcoin and crypto right now are at, at, at a top, right? And I've been calling the top for like the last month or two, right? And I technically I already called the top, right? Because we're we already topped out even on Bitcoin, right? I've been calling the top now for I think like a month or two, right? And again, we've already technically topped here at 73.7 as of now. So if you do continue this fall, I would have been exactly right. And I would have called the top. Not really me, but my indicators would have called the top, right? Perfectly. And this is more of a like a perfect confirmation of where we're actually going to go, right? So again, just this is just a warning to you guys. You know, this isn't like 100% guaranteed, but there's a very, very high chance that this happens, right? If you keep, uh, if you don't maintain any bull, any bull momentum, right? Because even at this level, right, even at mid, this mid channel, right, you perfectly bounced off this 651 level, right, which is that mid channel. Um, <clears throat> if you do push up again, right, if you do hit, if you go back up to like 70K, I don't think you stop, right? Again, if any, any chance you get to break this, right, if you keep pushing up and you have a lot of uh, support here and you actually actually break this upside, right? You break this, like, oh, dude, that's gonna, it's over. You know, I'll say Bitcoin's going to all-time highs, right? And breaking that and going higher. But again, you need to have some sort of closure up here above channel, above resistance, and you just haven't gotten that yet, right? So that's really it. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.